we're continuing our discussion on duct and system design. One of the other types of duct that we have, we looked previously at a piece of fiberglass duct. What we have now is what we call flexible duct. And flexible duct is just inherently, by its name, implies it's flexible. We're able to turn this duct in many, many different directions. Flex duct in short runs is not necessarily a problem. When we start seeing flex duct in excess of 14, 16 feet, we begin to start losing airflow. One of the problems that we lose airflow through this type of duct is the fact that it's very rarely ever installed straight and tight. We usually we have bends in it. Uh, it will rise up and over uh, building uh, framing, things, things of this nature. One of the other problems with it, one of the other pitfalls with it, is inside this duct is consisted of an inner liner that has a round helix wire on the inside. This wire is what holds this duct in an open position and keeps it from falling down and collapsing on us. This wire inherently is a problem. As we start making turns with this, we start losing a smooth surface in which to run our air through. So our air begins to uh, have turbulence inside this flex duct. The more turbulence we have in air, the, the less velocity we, or airflow that we have actually moving towards our grill. So this is one of the, uh, could be one of the design problems with a system if we see excessive amounts of flex. Flex duct usually comes in 25 foot sections. It varies in sizes, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14, uh, 16, and even sometimes 18. It has an outer liner on it. Uh, this, is, this type of flex duct is made for attic use only. Uh, this type of duct has a, a vinyl foil on the outside. In between the layers of the inner liner and the outer liner, we will have insulation. Insulation now code for us is R8 insulation for flex duct. This is actually a piece of R6, but we'll also have uh, this piece of insulation in here. This helps keep us from uh, uh, acting like a glass of iced tea on a hot summer day. We walk outside, it begins to sweat on the outside. Without this insulation, this inner liner would sweat. So therefore the insulation is on here and is a protective layer. Short pieces of flexible duct are not necessarily a problem. The problem again runs in once we get uh, longer than about 14 feet, we start really losing significant amounts of air. So this must be accounted for in a duct system and static pressure design. Any questions, feel free to give us a call. My name is Robert Curry. Our telephone number is 409-883-9616.